Hello, this is Chris McVay with KDE Direct. Today I'm going to be going over the general question of calibration of our XF series ESCs. If there is no flight controller in the loop, there is no calibration of our ESCs. They are simply plug and play. This is true for all of our XF series ESCs. You can find more information about this at our website at kdedirect.com or on the instruction manual that came with the XF Series ESCs. Our ESCs have an auto scaling feature that sets itself when the ESC is first powered up. This XF Series feature is based around the normal operating pulse range of a Fataba system. The pulse range of a Fataba system is 1100 microseconds to 1900 microseconds with 1520 being typically center. Our XF series ESCs look at the center pulse and automatically scale the endpoints accordingly. If your radio system does not have a standard pulse range, you might have to adjust the throttle endpoint in the radio to properly arm the ESCs. It's important to make sure the throttle channel direction is correct while trying to arm the ESCs. If needed, reverse the direction in your radio to achieve proper arming. We suggest that you test arm each ESC before a flight controller is brought into the loop. DJI and X-Aircraft flight controllers have an arming feature that is very close to our XF series ESCs. There should be no changes necessary, just plug and play. 3D Robotics must have the throttle channel pulse widths points adjusted to 1100 microseconds and 1900 microseconds with 1520 being center for proper arming. I hope you enjoyed this informational video about calibration of our ESCs. Thank you for watching.